Did I just get catfished? What is up Slowpoke? If this is your first time coming by, thank you for taking the time out of your day to check out this video. If you're coming back, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Your likes, your subscription, your comments, it means the world to me. My name is Baydex and I want to welcome you to the Trick Room, where the first are last and the last are first. Now really quick before I forget, I do want to announce the winner for our previous giveaway. It's been quite some time now, but congratulations Samuel Park. You have won the four Vivid Voltage Booster Packs. I've got them all right here. It was one of each pack art as promised. Do me a favor, hit me up on Instagram. We'll get your address and I'll have those sent out to you. These giveaways are super fun and I always enjoy giving back to the community and to those who put so much time into my channel and helping me reach my goals. Anyways, today we're gonna be getting into some more Vivid Voltage Booster Packs. As you can see, we have 10 of these sleeved boosters here a Vivid Voltage Elite Trainer Box, and the brand new Orbeetle V-Box. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start tearing into these packages here. And as I do so, I did wanna share some news with you guys. I am going to be moving to a different state. That's kind of why my tempo in recording has been a little slow. Uh, prepping for this move, we're going from here in Florida to another a place up north. I'm not really gonna disclose where that's at. But I'm excited for this new move. It's got me really, really busy right now, but I didn't forget about you guys. I think about you constantly. I think about posting videos constantly. And now I finally have an opportunity to be able to sit down and do the thing that I really have enjoyed as of late, which is opening up booster packs and talking to you guys and trying to build a community around Pokemon. So I've actually been sitting on all these products for <laughs> a long time <laughs> probably too long and at this point I'm sure you guys have checked out my other videos um, I've opened up a booster box I've opened up some I'm gonna leave this how it is actually I'll just stand that up right there we've opened up some pre-release box boxes or kits we've opened up a, an entire booster box and those were super fun um, let's get into this old box. kind of broke it open a little bit just to make Things a little easier. Come on, don't fight me. Check that out. Super giant. <laughs> I always like these really oversized cards. People kind of forsake them, but I enjoy them. They're pretty cool. They're pretty cool. Don't not forget about this promo sitting in here with our code card, which I am going to keep reserved. And what the? <laughs> I didn't even notice this, what the heck? I feel like I just got catfished. I didn't even, <laughs> they, they disguised. Oh my gosh. They put two of these in the front of the box and then they put these right behind it. Did you guys know that? Why didn't nobody tell me this was gonna happen? What in the world? You know what, I can't complain because these are two really cool booster packs so We'll go ahead and stick those to the side. I may start with those or we'll finish with those ones. We'll see what happens. All right, got everything cracked open. I'm gonna go ahead and change my camera angle so you guys can see me rip open these booster packs. Woo, let's go. I haven't opened up booster packs in quite some time. I did film one short the other day opening up a single X and Y base set booster pack, but that was pretty much it. And I haven't opened up anything since then. So we're just gonna jump right into it. First one, Zarud on the front. I can't tell you how excited I am. I usually open up, you know, Pokemon cards with my kids or, you know, I'll do something for them. And it, it relieves that itch that I get when I haven't opened up booster packs in, in quite some time. But now, I am pumped, I'm excited. Let's see what we can pull. Whale Lord, rare holographic. Oh, it looks like I messed it up. Uh, super cool card, I'm gonna stick him right there. Put this to the side. I am a little rusty on camera. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not like the most tech, tech oriented guy or I'm not super comfortable in front of the camera yet. Um, I feel super rusty coming back to it and I just can't tell you how much how excited I am to get back into it. Shift tree. Energy yeah, I screwed that up again. <laughs> you see how rusty I am, guys? I kind of just ruined it, so maybe there's an amazing rare somewhere in here. 
Oh, there we go. Reverse rare holographic, uh, reverse holographic rare alchemy. Dude, I am rusty. Oh my goodness. It hasn't even really been that long. But it's felt like an eternity because I haven't been able to get in front of the camera for longer than I had anticipated. But we're here now. Let's make the best of it. Four to the front. Yes. All right. Finally, we did it right. Third booster pack in, and we finally did it. Blitzel, Milkery, Skidoo, Eevee, Trubish, Reverse Holographic. That is a rare Bayonet and a rare non-holographic Metagross. Not going to lie, I do like Metagross because, of course, he's Gen 2, which is my favorite generation. Would have been cool if we were able to get that in a holographic form or even reverse. I do enjoy the reverse holographics from time to time. Some of them are pretty cool. One, two, three, and four. Darkness Energy, Sableye, Cremorant, Kakuna, Beldum, Blitzel, Milkery, Skidoo, Eevee, Reverse Holographic Rockruff, and a Toucan Sam. Nothing special there, nothing to see there. We're gonna need some milk for that Toucan Sam. Uh, Fruit Loops right there. Well, I do want to say happy Thanksgiving, guys. I hope you had an amazing day yesterday. I am still full from the other day. Shuckle, Gramorant, Joltik, Cottony, Mudbray, Slugma, Whismer. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! And with the reverse, or no, the amazing rare Rayquaza, and I seen something behind there. Let's go with the Colossal VMAX. Heck yeah. Oh my goodness. Look at these two cards, guys. I've been needing that Rayquaza. I haven't pulled one yet. I have not pulled one yet. I got a second Raikou and the Jirachi, but I had not gotten Rayquaza yet. And I'm excited. I'm stoked that I'm kind of closing in on that collection of all those amazing rares. And this Colossal VMAX with the full art, you got the fingerprint texture on there. That is so cool. And that's from one booster pack, guys. That is why I like this set so much, which I consider... I consider Vivid Voltage more of a collector set, uh, not much of an investor set that I can see. I think it might eventually turn into one, uh, but it's not quite like how uh, Champion's Path was where, you know, everyone was chasing those two Zards and it, it made good for flippers and investors and collectors to get into. But this one doesn't have super high dollar cards, just the Pikachu. Um, so this is really fun for collectors in my opinion, man. Like, you know, they're, they're not getting scalped on the secondary market with the Togekiss uh, V card there. You know, collectors aren't getting scalped on the secondary market. And when they try to sell things that are a little overpriced, the community reacts very, very, very negatively to that. Uh, which is just a part of the game. I mean, some people that jump in, they don't really, you know, jump in trying to uh, do some resell on Pokemon cards, they don't really understand what they're getting into. They're not plugged into the community at all. And, you know, they, they act surprised when they real, when they jump in, they price something the same as Champion's Path, and they get a negative reaction. Man, we are getting some awesome pulls today with the Galarian Darmanitan V. I like the regular uh, Darmanitan also from Black and White. Uh, I put a lot of hours into that game a long time ago. And Darmanitan, he was like a little fire ape kind of thing. Hits super hard. Was a really cool Pokemon to use. We're on a roll here, guys. <laughs> this is really awesome. This is uh, a really good pack opening to knock off all this rust I've been talking about. All right. Energy card. Substrica, and Trainer, Trainer, Sandile, C-Dot, Pikapek, Mudbray, Joltik, Bay, and a Whimsicott non-holographic rare all right we got four more vivid voltage booster packs before we get into the etb so let's keep this train rolling i don't know if you can see on that wall we've got some good hits man we're, we're on a roll right now and like i said this is just such a good opportunity to knock off that ring rust elect uh, kakuna beldum fanfi duskull electric pine cove reverse holographic nessa and a quagsire He's not bad, he looks super confused. That's okay. All right, next one. This is our third to last. And I'm excited to get into this ETB, guys. I actually have not 
opened up an ETB on this channel. So this will be the very first one that we will be opening here on in the trick room. Wubat, uh, Beldum, Blitzel, Milkery, Reverse Hall. Whoa, <laughs> and we got the Togekiss VVAX, guys. Holy crap. Check that out. We got his cousin right there on the wall. Oh my goodness. We're getting some amazing pulls here. And these are from the single blisters or the single uh, sleeved boosters. I actually have like almost no faith in those. I usually, if I'm standing in the line at Walmart, I'll buy a couple off the shelf just to like, okay, then, you know, let's, let's throw some money at this and see what we get. And for the most part, I literally get almost nothing, almost nothing every time. Uh, but this is kind of shaping up to be a lot different, which is good. It's just good. It's telling me and it's showing me that my money is not being misplaced. Sandile, Whalmer, Whalmer again, and Barascuda. Super cool, super fast Pokemon there. And our last Vivid Voltage uh, booster pack. And matter of fact, I'm going to switch it up. I'm probably going to go right into the uh, Darkness Ablaze and the Burning Shadows uh, booster packs that are sitting right here. With those, we are going to be shooting for Charizards, of course. Darkness Energy, Loudred, Trainer, Go Goat, Tynamo, Kalabapus, Wubat, Taillow, Charmander, Reverse Holographic, Zipstrika, and another Metagross. Super cool Pokemons. All right, here we got our Darkness Ablaze and Burning Shadows. We'll kick it off with Darkness Ablaze. Maybe we can throw a VMAX Charizard on the wall right there with the Togekiss and the Colossal V. Let's see what we can do. All right. Energy Guard, Trainer, Vibrava, Gotharita, Vanillite, Gothita, Nicket, Shelmet, Lavatar, Reverse Holographic, Dunsparce, and an Escavalier. Disappointment. Disappointment. That's okay. I actually kind of like Escavalier as a Pokemon. He's, <laughs> he's like super weak to fire, but that's okay. All right, getting into this uh, Burning Shadows. Um, I haven't opened one of these in a while. Uh, these are really cool. I, I love these booster packs. And hopefully we can get that Rainbow Rare Charizard GX, I believe. I have not pulled one. Haven't even come close. But let's see how we do here. All right. Energy Guard. Trainer. 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 Horsey. Mudbray. Libya. Hoot Hoot. Alolan Vulpix. Reverse Holographic Horsey. And wow, check that out. I have not pulled one of these. I didn't even know this was really in the set. A Holographic Rare Porygon Z. And Porygon Z is super cool because he is the guy that sets up the trick room. Come on, guys. Let's go. All right, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and move on to the ETB. I'm a little nervous about this, guys. I haven't opened one of these on the channel. We've got a hype train going right now. And as per usual, you have your player's guide within the ETB. We'll slide this thing on. Oh my goodness, is this beautiful. This is so nice. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so cool. I love it. Looks like you got like a little book here, probably to tell you some more game rules. Really cool. Uh, looks like a little thing there to prop at that, that cover up. Some dice and some, uh, I think those are status counters or something like that. Here are some card dividers. Awesome, I believe these are the energies. Oh, well hey, free code card. <laughs> Oh, go ahead. And, that is yours. That is yours, guys. Uh, energy cards and the like the vivid voltage themed um, card sleeves. Really cool. Really, really cool stuff. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set these here. We'll put this stuff to the side for now, and I can't wait to display some of that stuff later. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight more booster packs. Let's keep this train going, guys. Hopefully we get some luck going through this. That was backwards. That was definitely backwards. I know you guys seen that. I know you guys seen that. These cards are backwards. Maybe that's a good sign. Nuzleaf, Trainer, Trainer, Electric, Clefairy, Fanfi, Yanma, Galarian Mouth, another Gal Galarian Mouth, and our Snorlax. Hey, Holographic Rare Snorlax. I like to put these in card sleeves. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know about you guys. I know most people, they just disrespect the, the hollows now because they're not all extravagant, but 
they're still pretty cool i think all right this next one hopefully it's backwards again i mean it just makes my life a little easier you know uh, maybe if i can make my own life easier by opening this booster pack correctly all right so it looks like this one is on the correct okay energy cards sableye Duat, trainer meowth cottony Aracuda, Ninkata, Pikapek, Electros, and a Shedinja. Not a cool card, but that's all right. Like I always mention, I definitely appreciate all, if not uh, most, Pokemon cards that there are. I think the art is like super cool on them. It definitely gives me a nostalgic feeling, a nostalgic high that I'm always chasing and always putting money into. Swellow, Pikapek, Mudbray, Joltik, Weedle, Taolo, and the holographic rare Lugia. We only have one of these and a reverse holo, so this is definitely a really cool one to add to the collection. I do not forsake these holographic rare cards. You know, despite them not being full arts and despite them not having texture on it, it's, it's just classic. It really is. All right, energy card, Trainer, Sableye, Galvantula, Rylu, Chimchow, Ninkata, Voltorb, Rockruff, Zipstrika, and an Electros. Not too bad. I don't know if you guys ever heard of, I think Etika was his name. I know he gained popularity uh, later on down the road, but I used to watch him when he would play Pokemon Showdown because that was something I was super into at the time. And one thing I remember that was on his team was an Electros, and I'm trying to, I can't remember the, the nickname he gave that Electros, but that was kind of a staple on his team that, you know, Electros being an underused Pokemon, he somehow made it work on his, oh, hey, finally, uh, our very first Pikachu V card. I've really been wanting these. I keep seeing people posting these on Facebook groups and all that, and I was like, man, I just want one of those Pikachus. I don't think I pulled any of the Pikachus yet, but that's the first one right there, so heck yeah. An awesome little card there yeah anyways like I was saying he would he would make that work and I've actually just come to the knowledge that he has passed away so R.I.P. Etika man I, I used to love his videos back in the day hey another amazing rare Rayquaza check that out and let's see if we have any luck on the card behind it with the, the Flareon non holographic rare <laughs> we're gonna stick you with your twin dude you guys are just twinning it up right there. Heck yeah, we're having some really awesome luck with these booster packs, guys. I mean, we're still looking for that, that psychedelic Pikachu. That's all I'm saying. That's what I want. That is the chase card. I really want one. At this point, after all, this, all these Vivid Voltage booster packs and ETBs and booster boxes I've purchased, I was like, I should have just went and bought the single like everyone else. I wouldn't even care if I'm feeding these uh, these resellers, man. I just want that Pikachu. <laughs> I don't know about you. What do you guys think? Should you just buy singles if you're if you're chasing a card, or do you guys enjoy actually doing what I'm doing, which is going through dozens of booster packs, trying to chase down that one card that you really want? Kakarot, Delmize, Trainer, Shuppet, Puchena, Voltorb, Rockruff, Taylo, a Reverse Holographic Charmander, and a Terrakion. Not a bad Pokemon. We could always use some more four-legged horse and or dog Pokemon. Said nobody ever. <laughs> so that's going to do it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and recap what we have here and talk at the same time. So, like I had mentioned, I'm moving and because of that i probably won't be posting any bigger videos uh, anytime soon until i get to my new house and settle in set up the trick room again man i love these requises and we got two of them and and set up that trick room so we can get more videos out to you guys so all i ask is that you guys be patient with me hang in there um, I haven't quit. I haven't thrown in the towel yet. I'm still making content. I still want to create and build this channel and a community. So please stick around. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing. And if you can, bullet punch that like button. It tells me that I'm doing a great job. It tells me that you guys like these videos. And if you can, throw this little guy's name down in the comments. His name was revealed. It's not Baby Yoda. It's not the child. His name was revealed. 
drop it down in the comment section below. Let's talk about it. And until next time, guys, take it easy.